Hello everyone, welcome back. Got the Red Rover. Today is Saturday, or is it Saturday or Sunday? It's Sunday. I got the, uh, sorry about that. I got the battery here and put the battery in. My backpack just fell off my shoulder. Okay, that's a little bit better. Before I start the battery, I did want to show you. I did add a little addition here. I added a solar panel, a cheapie from Harbor Freight. Um, last night the power went out and I didn't have a chance to charge all my battery banks. This battery bank right here, this one right here, <laughs> not, not, uh, not, not this one, this one. This one was fully charged so they're ready to go. I'm going to take an all day ride, it's not 60 miles but I do plan on being out all day. Um, it was a spur of the moment uh, this morning. The, the power was out all night and up to this morning we just got power. But uh, everyone's planning to do whatever their own thing today. So I don't have my young one to look out and I want to do some scouting. I want to do some kayak scouting. So you see right here it's red and that means it's on. So I'm hoping that this little setup will charge this battery. Uh, the battery bank here um, because I had to use it last night and was unable to charge it. Uh, this one's somewhat full. I used it this morning but didn't have a chance to charge it but it's more full than the other one. So let's see how it works. Um, hopefully you'll put enough charge in there where I can use it. And this is kind of my little solar get up for my battery bank. Anyways, let's put this back on now. Oh. And I do have my secondary battery with me. So I got a relatively full, relatively full water bladder. I think the water bladder, the the water bladder is full. Uh, ooh. this definitely weighs 20 pounds, maybe even a little bit more. Okay, it doesn't feel that bad with the uh, body armor on it. So. Okay, let's get the GPS here. So today is going to be a long ride. Okay, let me just go over here. Put that in here. Today will be a long ride today. So I'm, I'm planning to take a very long ride, do some scouting, look for our places that I could land my kayak. And there's several places where I can do that and then I'll try to show you all. I'm still working on the kayak trailer. Okay, now, gotta make sure this is in. Okay, that was easy. Power it on. Power is on, excellent. Okay, got my fanny pack. Got my backpack, as you can see. Uh, let me see if I could turn around here. So I got my backpack on, as you see right here. Or maybe you can see it on the the, uh, the mirror right here. So I got my fanny pack on. Uh, of course my fanny pack, I have my gun and all that good stuff. My, my real phone, got my other smartphone and then got this uh, got this thing here okay it looks like I'm ready to go got my water bladder got my baseball pants I st I'm starting to get a sunburn on my legs around my ankles so I put some suntan lotion got my crocs on all right I'm ready to go uh, well, you know what I didn't it's all right I'll probably eat lunch Go out and buy lunch somewhere. I was gonna bring the uh, protein drink, but uh, that's all right. I'm already, I'm already an hour late. Planning to leave nine. It's already uh, ten o'clock, so I had to do some things. Mm. Okay. Ooh, beautiful day. Last night there was some kind of like windstorm or rainstorm. I don't know what it was but it caused a uh, power outage. 
uh, over, let me see, 1,800 homes without power in, uh, in my area, at least in my area. And uh, so I'm not going to go too fast. I'm just going to stay on pedal assist one. It's going to kind of be, it's going to, it's going to be like a mock run for my 60 mile, which I won't do until I get back from uh, California anyway. But uh, I do want to scout. So I have my Crocs on and put suntan screen on my, on my foot and my leg and ankle area because my skin was peeling. So, and that's just, that's just on my legs. I'm surprised how much, I'm surprised I got a burn because it was tanning really well. I didn't realize I was burning it. That's why it was probably tanning really well. Okay. So it's the day before Memorial Day. I don't really want to go out. I'll probably just go to the pool on Memorial Day. Maybe I'll ride the bike, maybe I won't. I actually plan on going to the local, my local pool right here, which is open on Memorial Day. So I just want to go there. It does have a slide, it does have like all these other things, but uh, that's not why I go there, but I go there because it's really convenient and so close. So today is just going to be a general ride. GPS. All right, GPS is a little, is connected now. Good. So I'm going to go to all the areas where I'm going to scout. I'm going to be scouting these different areas to uh, to uh, to go and launch my kayak here. Is there nobody? If there's no one, I'll just keep going. I don't want to. All right, good. Okay, pedal assist one, gear two. So this is the pool right here that will be open. Looks like they're not open. They opened at 12, so I'm a little early. They should be open this weekend, plus Memorial Day, which is on a Monday. So I do have a spare battery pack in the backpack. I'm getting up, trying to get acclimated to the weight on that. And I got my bike lock in the backpack. I didn't bring, I was gonna bring my little uh, nutritional drink with me, but I forgot. That's okay. Got my water bladder, which is almost full. I've been drinking out of it, so. I probably have at least 32 ounces. I'll be stopping somewhere to get lunch. I haven't, you know, we'll see what's out there. My GPS is not functioning right now. Okay, just let it think some more. Just let it think some more. Let's put it up here so you could think. No, it's just flashing. All right, whenever it decides to come on, I guess. So, I'm looking for areas to launch my kayak from. Locally, someplace I could ride my bike, so. Now I figured out some areas all over here I'm going to expand on it in some neighboring areas. And they got some docks. They got some areas where I could launch the kayak. So I'm going to go ahead and scout them out. I'm going to go ahead and scout it out so that, uh, so that I can uh, get a better idea. Okay. Go to a higher gear. And 
Now I'm on gear seven, pedal assist one. There's some areas like right around here that I'm thinking. So, anyways, <laughs> the power went out last night, all night. At first I got a call from the center point, which is the local uh, company that takes care of all the power lines here. They said that it would be repaired 9 o'clock. Power went out about 8 o'clock. So, unfortunately we're in the middle of cooking with some lasagna. Or heating lasagna, I should say, not cooking. Nobody cooks lasagna anymore. They just heat it. Frozen lasagna. So, the power went out, turned the oven off. As far as like a stove, like a stove, the stove was working. All we needed was some kind of uh, ignition. But obviously the uh, the oven wasn't going to go because uh, it had no power, it had no ignition. So here, I'm going to cross over here. Okay, get on the pedal assist number two. Oh, a little headwind. So pedal assist number two. I'm trying to see if I can conserve the battery. So anyways. So, went out and the residential areas had no power. Some of the uh, stoplights had no power. Some of them had a little stop and go red light. But as we got closer to uh, other areas of the community, they seemed to have power, at least the commercial, the commercial places. So it didn't affect everybody. It affected this neighborhood right here. We drove around here on our way back home. This place was dark. Even the lights, even the lights, street lights were dark. Or they were not on. So, it wasn't that bad, but I personally don't like it when the power goes out. It's dark, streets are dark, your alarm system turns off, your phone I think still works, we didn't check our phone but our landline, cell phone kind of worked, that's the thing, the, the power must have knocked down a, a cell tower too, so we didn't have any great reception. was a little bit on alert because you know you don't get good phone reception your alarm the power is out of your alarm so your alarm doesn't really work I could hear sirens going off at night which told me like that there was other emergencies going on so didn't like hearing that and you know the first thing that happens in like an emergency situation is the power goes out. So I don't like I don't like it when the power goes out, especially when it was uh, all night. Ooh, it is sunny. It's probably uh, 80 up in the upper 80s. Going to be in the 90s here, and eventually peak out around 90 something. 
uh, UV index is going to be 12 by 1 to 2 o'clock, which I will be out riding. So, extreme. Very highly extreme. Humidity isn't too bad. It was cool last night, thank goodness. Had the windows open because we didn't have, nobody had any AC. So it was cool. You know what's funny was we're driving right here. Power got shut off around 8 o'clock. The gates were locked. <laughs> the gates were locked right here. So you had all these people parked at the front of their gate trying to get to their homes. They couldn't even get into their own home. <laughs> kind of hilarious. The irony. The irony of it. So, anyways, so all that was happening. So this is a, another area where I can launch my uh, kayak from. There's several areas really, but they have a little, a little decking port dock. I don't know what you call it, but this is a pretty fairly uh, large lake area. And it's not really blue, but it looks blue. They dye the water. Let me pedal this down, gear down a little bit. You've probably seen this place before. I've been here. I've been here. But they have a little dock here. And this probably could be a good area for, for uh, launching the kayak. Oh, it looks like someone caught a little baby fish here. Matter of fact, uh, if you look, if you look, they, they put a, they got a little ledge. Yeah, if you look at it right here. Oh, I can see little minnows. I can see little minnows right here. But they got, they got a little ledge here that you could just stand off and just dock right here and just go. Matter of fact, if you look over there, you see some other people have their kayaks. And uh, as far as I know, this isn't private, private. Let me zoom in. You can actually see other people have... Uh, like, uh, let me see, that guy, right, right over here, there's a little kayak, uh, to the, to the left, to the, to the left right there, you see a couple kayaks right there. So, I've seen people kayak here, so, and this is big enough, it actually goes, this thing goes all the way, let me zoom out. So this thing goes all the way, comes out, and goes to the other side under the underpass, which is another area for me to uh, to launch from. And my assumption is if they if they have this water, this lake, accessible to the general public, which it looks like it is, then I'm assuming that it's uh, open. See? I mean, anybody can come right through here and access the water. So, so this is one area right here where there's the potential to launch. And it's pretty big, it's relatively big. And not only that, it goes under the overpass, the road, and goes on to another area. So, as far as kayaking and exercising, this, this is another good area that it could go into. Uh, outside of my neighborhood, of course, my immediate neighborhood, but this is very close to where I am, so this could be another area.
And where's the other area here? The other area is right over there. You can see it. It's the underpass to the other side of the lakes. Of the lake. Call it a lake. And here, all right here, you can launch. You can launch as well. All along here. Let me just ride around in it real quick. So, oh yeah, all right here, you can launch from it right here as well. So, plenty of areas where you could launch your kayak from. Let me gear down a little bit. There we go. So, a lot of launching areas. And then under the underpass, there's a really good area to launch to, where I could even lock up my bike. Uh, standing up here. I might need a little throttle. Maybe, maybe not, let me see. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need throttle, a little throttle. A little boost. A little boost to help me out. Oof. And basically I'll be pulling my kayak, so... Oh, oh there was a just bump right there. Unexpected. All right. So here's another area. You can see, probably lock up my bikes around here. And then, uh, there's another, here's another area where I can uh, launch from, as you can see, it's some just launch from out of here and under the shade under the free under the road above just come out here and just launch and the, there's a whole nother area here of lakes it goes all the way around so another area here I think it'd be a Good little kayaking. I don't think I'm gonna go fishing. I, I guess I could if I wanted to, but uh, not really interested in fishing. I, I might just for fun, just for the heck of it, but all right, so. Now they're doing some road construction here. I might have to get on the road. I might have to get on the street. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I should have turned back around. Yeah. Look at this place. I don't see anyone, so I'm going to go ahead and... Just take the road here. Actually, I, I do want to... I do want to get back... Uh, total assist uh, three, gear seven. I do actually want to turn around and go back here real quick. I might be able to cut through here, maybe. Let me see. go through the shortcut. I'm finding all these little shortcuts here and there that I could utilize. I don't there. Actually it does connect. Good. So right here it connects. Go down pedal assist one. So right here it connects. Oh, excellent. Pedal assist one, gear seven. Again not in a hurry today. Just just cruising, riding around. My maximum speed so far is 18. It's 
so I gotta be careful around here because people whiz by. I don't see anybody. Good. I gotta be careful on the other side because people might whiz by over there too. And this goes under the uh, road here. Okay. Let me gear down a little bit. Okay. Pedal assist one, gear five. Oh yeah. Nice breeze coming through here. Eventually last night I, I did fall asleep during the power outage yesterday and uh, woke up and there was still no power but see look at the tree tree limbs are falling it was very windy I mean just like it didn't rain out here but man just uh just all of a sudden like a gust of wind started blowing out of nowhere and uh, it was uh, it was uh, just sudden and almost almost felt like hurricane I wouldn't say hurricane but maybe a tornado was brewing it felt that way anyway alright okay go to the right this is a little shortcut to avoid all the traffic and everything takes me out to a good portion of the way on the uh, on the uh, road that I'm going to, I'm actually headed towards the uh, Memorial Park. I think I think it's called Trigoland Memorial Park. So I'm going to be headed out there and a little bit beyond. A little bit beyond. There's another area where I could launch my kayak from. So looking at that. And again, I'm conserving my energy. I got my secondary back uh, battery pack in my backpack. And let's see how long this has been going on for 18 minutes. So, I don't know, about, I think in about half an hour to 45 minutes on this clock anyway, I'll stop the video and start another one, check on the battery. I don't know how the solar panel is doing, but hopefully it's getting a charge. Hello, ducks. I did uh, put a bungee on the bottom part of it, so hopefully it's staying. I'm not going fast, so I don't think it's an issue at all. Cross over the uh, walkover bridge, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. So it takes me out here, which does the trick for me. Nice little scenic route. Had a good breakfast this morning. Scrambled eggs with pickled de gallo and beans. And I did drink my nutritional drink. Oh, you know, I never noticed that, but there's a, a tunnel under this road too that takes you onto the other side, which uh, this place has their own little water pool and everything. So there's, the, there's another area to kayak. There's a decent size lake I guess not really that big but uh, another place to kayak if I wanted to
So I'm on this side of the sidewalk because I'm going to be veering off to the left. The, the Memorial Park, Sugar Land Memorial Park is on the left side. So. debris from trees around here. All right. Little Sis 1, gear 5. Today is just a cruising day. I'm scouting. It's fun to scout a little bit, especially if you plan on doing other related activities like like I'm planning on uh, kayaking. I see a car here. Let's see if he sees me. All right. Oh. Oh, somebody honking. You know, if you ride a, if you ride a bike enough, um, have you seen my videos? I've I've fallen I don't know four or five times already, like falling off the bike. One really severe enough to have a an injury here on my thumb. I have a sprained thumb. It's getting way better. Just need more time to heal those tendons. But uh, you know, the more you ride the bike, the more you will get it into a, an accident the odds that's just the odds and depends how you ride the bike I've been riding the bike pretty aggressively so increased chance of getting into uh, an injury but if you ride the bike enough you'll start seeing other things like you'll witness car accidents you'll witness all sorts of things that you wouldn't normally see driving around all zippity zappity happy bappity or whatever <laughs> but yeah you you ride your bike enough you'll see a lot of strange things you'll, you'll witness a lot of things that you probably wouldn't have witnessed otherwise it's uh you go fast enough to go someplace but not too fast to miss it you're not walking walking takes a long time so either the accident has to happen right in front of you or you miss it So, you see other wildlife creatures and all this other stuff. All right, getting there. I, as, I, as I'm riding, I'm also looking around to see if there's other areas that I could go to that I couldn't see on the Google Maps in the satellite view. I'm seeing some. I'm not going to take them. I'm just going to have to make a mental note. But uh, it's wet. It's muddy. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that. I got my Crocs on. Oh, a little bushy right here. I need to cut those. I need to cut that a little bit. Trim it. Alright, so I got the sun to my back which is perfect. I don't know if you can see that here. Got the sun to my back. And guess what's on my back? The solar panel. Yeah, just a little cheapy Harbor Freight. This is charging my battery bank for my smartphones, not for the uh, Rad Rover. I don't know if it's worthwhile to actually get a full-on, full-blown solar panel and put it onto a trailer to charge the Rad Rover. because you got some weight, you got some weight. You got weight of the trailer to pull, all this other stuff. They still haven't fixed this area and it's muddy, and it's muddy, and it's muddy. Uh, 
I'm going to, uh, man, it's muddy. I'm gonna just walk it over. I'm just gonna walk it over. Because it's muddy and they got a pretty, uh, they got a really, uh, ooh, well, look at that. That's a power line with maybe a gas line or phone line. Okay. All right, get back on the trail. There's a down tree. A couple down trees. Looks like they're planning on cutting cutting these trees down. Maybe that's why they got the ribbons on them. Well, there's one tree that just fell down on its own. Probably, probably last night during the wind. A little windstorm we had here. No rain. I didn't see any rain. But a lot of wind. I could hear it. Oh, a little squirrel. <sighs> looks like, uh, the last time I saw this, someone, looks like some, uh, a Mack truck ran right into this thing. Uh, looks like it's still, uh, looks like it's still there. The hole is still there. I guess the insurance company is going to be, uh, I guess the insurance company is going to be taking care of that. Take them a while. It's going to take them a while. I don't know the situation on that. Maybe the brakes didn't work or whatever. I mean, you see these, you see strange things like that. You ride your bike enough, you'll start seeing accidents, witnessing accidents and stuff like that. And I think, uh, that time I took uh, the driver's test, or the, uh, well it's not a driver's test, but it's kind of like, I got a ticket for making a left turn on a no left turn at, at the school when I dropped my, my oldest off at her middle school. There was a place right there waiting for someone to do that. Anyways, uh, so I had to take this driver's education to negate my ticket. Did ended up doing that like three times because just, that's a long story, but so I ended up, six hours I ended up doing like, what is that, uh, 24 hours, 28 or whatever, 18 hours. I'm gonna need some more assistance here, pedal assist two. Going up an incline. What I learned is, uh, what's the percentage of fatalities for pedestrian and bike riders? Uh, like bicyclists. And it's about 12% of the fatalities that occur. I think if I'm right, it's either 12% or 1.2%. If I remember, it's 12%, but 12% of fatalities that occur from a motor vehicle accident, 12% of it is uh, pedestrian and cyclist. So, about over a thousand people in the state of Texas. Now, I might be wrong, but I'm, I think I remember this one because it was like you had to answer this. You had to answer this and all this stuff, but a thousand people, over a thousand people. Uh, are fatal, 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 fatally. <laughs> well, over a thousand people, at least twelve hundred people die from from a driver motorist accident, fatally die. So keep that in mind. Just because you're riding a bike doesn't mean you're safe. You know, a little evidence, a little reminder. So, so if you do bike, you know, take your time getting there. Most most people who ride bikes, this is a leisure. This isn't like a sport for you. So, 
No one's paying me to make these videos other than you guys who watch the videos. So thank you very much. Looks like there's a little creek here. I wanna, is there a creek? No, I see a guy walking the creek down there. So there's little places here and there that you could, it's a creek, it's not enough for a kayak though. But you can walk it, I have a, the guy has a walking poles. He has those walking poles, he's walking along the creek over there. I mean, there's areas you could definitely ride around and do things. Makes it more fun, a little bit more adventurous. Two cyclists coming up in front of me. Just so I hope the same group, two two people that I see last time. They always they seem to do this on the weekend. I always catch them on the weekend. That's the second time I've seen them. They probably seen me too. have a walk sign or green light but it's just might as well just go there's another area where I possibly could kayak it's a small little area and is that an alligator or is that just a tree branch it looks like a tree branch you know the one time I didn't bring my camera my gimbal and my camera I saw the biggest alligator I've ever seen I was I just uh, put the co-pilot together uh, the day after um, and uh, I just wanted to ride with my young one so we went around to the uh, elementary school that she will be going to so I can get a good idea of the timing how long it would take and then we rode around and there's a there's a reservoir retention pond or lake and uh, man there was an alligator size of a medium sized dog mouth open just right at the bank of the of the of the reservoir of the pond it was huge I, I was like wow that, that that's a big that is that's the biggest I've ever seen and I didn't have my camera I didn't have did I have some I don't know I, I probably had my smartphone but I really wanted to have a video of it so I could zoom in because it was huge it was the biggest one I've ever seen and it, it, it could take you down it could take you down it probably weighed probably about 200 pounds it was more than six feet tall or six feet long if you include the tail but yeah it was big the mouth the mouth was like this long i mean at least a foot more than a foot long maybe that's how big the mouth was and it had its mouth open and uh that's just my estimate i didn't want to get too close i wasn't gonna I wasn't going to try to measure it, but I was like, wow, and I didn't have, I didn't have my gimbal and my camera, my smartphone with me at the time. I probably had, no, did I even have a smartphone at all? No, I think I just left everything at the house, just got on the bike, put the helmet on, just started riding. I put the, uh, I, I don't even think I even put the, the high, visi high visibility vest on. I did have my buff though. All right, we're here. We're here. Well, we're, we're not here, but we're here at the uh, Sri Land Memorial Park. It has the, uh, the bike trail, the mountain bike trail. A little low here. I can see the the river. I can see the river from here. So 
So I'm not going to actually go to the park itself. I'm going to try to veer off and go to um, another kind of parkish area which takes me to the river. There's another path right here that takes me to a river. There's the bike trail has a little area where it takes you to the river. I think you've seen it in one of my videos when I, when I brought the red mini down here. But a little bit further down, further down, veering off to the left, there's another park, something, Shugland Park or something. And, uh,. That's another area that takes you, that, that will take me close to the uh, to the river, and then uh, from there I'm going to go to another area where there's a a connection of lakes, a retention pond. Uh, what do they call it? New territory. It's called New Territory. I'm at 38 minutes here. Uh, why not? I'll just take a, I'll just stop the video here and uh, start another one.